play for one night and you can do a job the best time, whatever it is. All right, here we go, here we go. I got two words for you today, two words. Here they are, one minute, one minute. You know, I've often heard students, adults, people say, I just don't have enough time to reach my goals. I just don't have enough time to do this thing I know I ought to do. I just don't have enough time. Have you ever been guilty? of saying that. If you raise your hand, I want you to know you're not alone. I'm talking to me more than once. I've said, I just don't have enough time. But the more I think about that excuse, as valid as it feels for me, I'm convicted by the words of Lao Tzu. He said, saying you don't have time is just the same as saying, I don't want to. Those words convict me. They call me guilty of just not wanting to do the work. You know, we all have choices on how we spend our time. We all have choices on how we respond to things. We just don't always have the guts to make the choices that we know we ought to make. And that's why today I want to challenge you with these two words, one minute because just one minute can change your life. How you spend just one minute can change what you do in the next minute and the next minute. And you do that 60 times over and that changes what you did in an hour. You do that 24 times over, it changes what you did in a day. You do it seven times over, changes what you did in a week. You see where I'm going to change your tomorrow to reach your goals and dreams, to reach the goals that you've set for yourself starts with just the next one minute. And so if you found yourself saying, I want to change it, but I don't know how, I want to give you what I call the ABCs of time management. Three tools that will help you spend the next minute, hour, day, week, month, year in a way that helps you reach your goals on the court and in life. First, audit your actions. Audit your actions. You see, there's this phenomenon that happens when we don't hold ourselves accountable. We think that we do better than we really do. That if we don't write down what we do every day, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12. If we don't write it down, our mind will fill in the blank with what we wanted to do, what we thought we did, and we'll think that that's good enough. But when you take an audit of your actions, what you do is you write down everything you do from the moment you wake up until the moment that you go to bed over five days, one week of school. You write down what class you went to, you write down how you spent your lunch period, what time you woke up, what time you went to bed. You even get that screen time app on your phone and you look at how much time you spent on your phone. For all the good that social media can do, it is a slippery slope to a lot of bad. Did you know that the average teenager spends over five hours a day on social media? I wonder, are you an average teenager? Are you above average or below? See, five hours a day spent on social media, there's not that much good to be done on social media for five hours a day. It's a wasting of time. And when we waste time, well, we don't wanna hear that truth. So what do we say? I don't have time. No, we have the same 24 hours. We just don't have the guts to use them well. So I wanna challenge you. If you find yourself in that spot, take an audit of your actions and make sure that you are spending your time well. Number two, we gotta be on Beyonce time. Be on Beyonce time. Did you know that Queen B, she's at the top of her game, the best of the biz. She gets the same 24 hours as you do. She gets the same 24 hours as I do, but she gets a lot more done in her 24 hours. Why? Because she values her time more 
than we do. She doesn't say, I don't have time, because she values her time, which means she purposes her time. But I can already hear someone say, yeah, but Mackie, Queen B, she, her assistants have assistants. She's got all the money in the world, all the power, all the fame, all the free. Of course she gets more done than I do. If I had that kind of time, if I had that kind of fame, if I had that kind of money, I would get that much done too. And you know what I say to that? You are a liar. It's not true because here's what power and fame and money does. Power, fame, and money reveal who you already are. They don't make you somebody new. And if you waste time when you're a broke nobody high schooler, then you're gonna waste time if you ever get rich and famous and powerful. It reveals, we say it all the time, you get great at what you get reps at. And if you wanna be great one day, spending your time well, you've gotta be great at it today. Don't look at one minute and say, it's just 60 seconds. Look at one minute and go, what can I get done in the next minute? What can I get done in the next 10? What can I get done in the next hour? Challenge yourself to go, how can I spend this so well that I get more done in less time than anyone I know. And finally, number three, well, you've got to control the controllables. Listen, I know that there are certain things that we go to that we have no choice in. You've got to go to school. You've got to be there when the first period bell rings until the last period bell rings. You can't be skipping class. You've got to be there. Listen, you can't control that, so don't make it an excuse. Control the controllable. We've all seen somebody who goes through the workout. Their body is present, but their mind is absent. They're going through the motions, but they're not getting anything done. They're not controlling the controllables. You see, when you find yourself in class, you be there. You give all of you to it. You're gonna get more out of it. You get in the weight room. Don't be thinking about what you're gonna do after school. You give the fullness of you to right where you are. You're gonna get more out of the workout. You begin to control what you can control. And even when you find yourself in a spot that you didn't choose, you get something out of it. You allow it, you purpose it to move you forward when you can control the controllables. And then all of a sudden when you come back and you audit, that action, you realize, yep, I purposed that. I didn't waste that time. That was time well spent. Once you start spending time well, all of a sudden, you're on Beyonce time. She spends her time well. And then you begin to see that as I can control the controllables, I spend my time well. I value my time so I can control the controller. And it becomes a cycle that builds momentum and that momentum moves you to your goals. And that excuse that once said, I don't have time, gets flattened by the big momentum train that you start driving. You see, we all have the same 24 hours in a day, the same 168 in a week. We just don't all spend it the same way. And I can promise you, if you want to be the person, if you want to reach the goals that you are created to be and to reach, you got to spend that next minute well. Friends, I don't know what your goals and dreams are, big or small, short term or long, but I do know this, that if you want to reach those goals and dreams, it's not complicated. It's as simple as two words. It's all about how you spend the next one minute. Let's have a good one today.